After a self-driving car ran over someone in San Francisco, sending them to the hospital in critical condition, we wanted to know what are the consequences if something like that actually happens here? Thanks for joining us at 10 tonight, everyone. I'm Rory Johnston. Well, as News Channel 5's Jason Lamb found out, state laws here may need to play some catch up. An accident involving a self-driving car, a human-driven car, and someone jaywalking across the street in San Francisco is highlighting concerns about so-called autonomous vehicles nationwide. Cruise, the company that owned the self-driving car in San Francisco, also has a stock of similar cars that appear ready to go in Nashville. But with self-driving cars potentially coming to a street near you, what happens if there's an accident here? It's a little harder to charge someone with speeding or to charge someone, you know, for a, a some sort of criminal infraction when you don't have actually an operator there. But it News Channel 5 legal analyst Nick Leonardo says the state's criminal laws may need to catch up to address the reality of self-driving cars. We haven't tackled this, okay? We don't have laws out there to hold someone criminally responsible for something that happens in a vehicle when you don't have to have an operator of a vehicle. Leonardo says essentially it's people who are given citations for breaking laws, not vehicles. So that requires an intent, okay? Uh, I don't believe at this point in time that autonomous vehicles have the ability to form intent. In the end, Leonardo says fault in self-driving car accidents is more likely to be found in civil court, not criminal. But I think what the answer to this is for the General Assembly to impose some very harsh civil penalties for, for accidents that occurred so that so that there's incentive on these corporations to ensure to ensure really that there's not an accident. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. Thank you, Jason. Now, we did reach out to Cruz about a separate accident this weekend involving one of its vehicles right here in Nashville. The company says in that case, the vehicle was not in self-driving mode. A driver was behind the wheel. When it was hit by another car, the company claims ran a red light. Cruz told us, quote, safety is at the core of everything we do.